Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ash and I have another illustration I want to paint today. So grab yourself something to drink and let's get to it. It's actually a little bit cloudy today so I hope it doesn't have too much of a negative effect on the lighting in this video since I always work with natural light. Since I promised myself I'd share more art with you this year, I also need to create more. The scary part though is staying inspired enough to remain productive and to avoid art block. I'm the kind of person who has not really mood swings but creative swings. There are moments when I'm just a waterfall of ideas and then there are moments when I'm the creative equivalent of a desert where art comes to die. For example, last year was one of my dead moments. I didn't really create a lot and that bummed me out. So in order to help myself a bit more this year, and maybe even help any of you watching, I thought it would be a good idea to list out my top sources of inspiration so we have a few tools to help us combat those moments when the well dries up. To start things off, I think that, without a doubt, my greatest source of inspiration is music. Sometimes I feel like I can live inside a song, as if it creates this whole universe and story inside my head. Music can be very visual to me, so I like to sit down with my earphones in and a pencil at hand just to sketch out what I'm hearing. There are two main types of music that inspire me. The first is what I will refer to as lyrically heavy songs, since I draw inspiration from the words more than from the melody. I'm an emo kid at heart, so songs complaining about the world are something that I really relate to, and they make me want to draw all of those feelings. The second kind of music that gets me sketching is movie scores. These usually don't have any lyrics, but I just love how they sweep you off your feet and take you to another world. Anyway, no matter what your music preference is, I'm sure that listening to it helps put you in a better mood and brings those creative vibes. Something else that inspires me and is still heavily related to music is music videos. This is a much more visual source of inspiration and it isn't necessarily linked to any type of music because even a song you don't like can have a stunning video. I think music videos inspire me more than series or films because they're short. They're little bite-sized bits of cinematography and they're easier to watch again and again. I find it really amazing how super creative ideas can be portrayed in such a limited amount of time. Another one of my favorite sources of inspiration is prompt lists. No matter what time of year it is, if I feel like I want to get ideas for a series of pieces rather than just one piece, I look up old Inktober prompt lists. So many people have created beautifully themed lists over the years for this challenge, and those lists are still a great resource if you are looking for suggestions regarding a certain topic. Prompt lists with fairy tale characters, folklore creatures, myths and legends, flora and fauna can introduce you to things you hadn't heard of before and inspire you to create something new. When I'm about to work on an idea, one of my favorite places to look for reference is Pinterest. And what usually happens while I test out keywords to get the thing I'm looking for, I come across all these other images that spark a flood of new ideas. So I have a few boards I pin these images to that I can always come back to when I feel a bit uninspired and they usually help to get things flowing again. My next source of inspiration is kind of a bonus source of inspiration for me. And that is my old sketchbooks. I mentioned before that I like to keep a sketchbook where I put all my messy ideas. This is usually the same sketchbook I work in when listening to music. I guess it's kind of an idea book and sometimes it's fun to go back to this and pick out concepts I haven't refined and chip away at them again. And finally, I think we put way too much pressure on ourselves to be creative all the time. It's okay to take a break from coming up with amazing new ideas and just chill. But if you feel guilty for not being productive during these moments, you can still work on improving your skills by committing to the more boring task known as studying. This is something I think I undervalued a lot at the very start of my art journey, because I never really thought of art as something to study. I just wanted to create. But in order to improve, I've learned how much it really helps to go out there and do some hands-on mundane stuff like painting a bowl of fruit, sketching out boxes in perspective, or just drawing the same thing over and over again until you feel like you finally nailed it. Maybe this isn't the kind of work you feel like sharing, but I do think it's extremely valuable to yourself and it doesn't drain your more creative side. So spend time on it when you don't know what else to spend time on. 
That wraps up my main sources of inspiration. Let me know what inspires you or helps you set the right mood to be creative in the comments down below. Let's stock up on those tools to fight productivity slumps. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope I've shared something useful. I look forward to sharing more with you in the future, so if you want to stick around, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next week.